What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets and in this video I have a little gadget. It's something different. Let's go ahead and get into it. These are HD camera sunglasses. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's do this! Taking my first look at the glasses, they are made of plastic and you'll notice that the camera is in the dead center of the sunglasses. Here is the micro SD card slot. On the bottom you'll notice the little circle is a reset button. You have the charging port and then where my thumb is, this is a button or two which we'll figure out what they do a little bit later. Opening up the sunglasses, they are smooth to open up. And this right here probably gives us some kind of indication on what's going on with the camera. So we will also take a look at that. You will need to supply your own micro SD card. This can go up to 32 gigabytes. Let me show you how to place the SD card inside of the sunglasses. So you're just going to go ahead and pretty much slide it in and just make sure that it's securely in place. This right here is considered your function slash on and off buttons. So they all work together. You have your charging port and lastly the little reset hole. So again, let's go ahead and turn it on. So I've hit the on button as you see, it is powered on. Let me show you how to operate. So I will hold the function button until I see the light flashing. When you see the light flashing, that means it is in fact recording video. To stop it, just go ahead and tap the function button again and it's in standby mode. To snap a picture, quickly tap the function button and it will snap a picture. Now one more time for the people in the back. You tap it once to go ahead and snap a picture. You hold the function button for a few seconds to go ahead and record video. To stop recording, you simply go ahead and tap the function button one more time and then it will be in standby mode. To turn off the device, go ahead and hold down the on and off button. Now let's take a look at some of the videos and photos that come out of these glasses. You will need a computer to view the files. Let me show you how it looks. 
So here's my MacBook Pro. I already set a folder called camera glasses. Within that folder, you'll see all the files that the sunglasses actually recorded. So you have your movie files and you have your pictures. So the movie files are at the top and then you have your pictures at the bottom. But notice the movie files, um, the file is an AVI file. And that's something that the Mac cannot read, but the JPG is fine, it's a picture. So I'll click on that to show you. It opens up just fine. So that's one of the pictures the sunglasses took. So if I go back into the folder and I go ahead and try to click on one of the movie files, we'll just go ahead and select one. And this is what comes up. So the file cannot be opened using the QuickTime player. So I'll just say OK. And then I'll go back to the folder and I'm just going to right click on one of the files. So right click and then you're just going to say open with. And then when you're in there, just go ahead and pick this video player right here. And it will go ahead and open up the file and play the video as you see right here. I will show you also on a Windows device. Be sure to use the included cable that came with the sunglasses and go ahead and plug it into the back of your Windows device. Then you're going to go ahead and plug the other end into the sunglasses. The charging red light came on so we know that the devices are communicating. I'll go ahead into my computer and select the correct drive. And then here are all the files from the sunglasses. So let's say we'll select a movie to watch and you'll see it'll come up with this error. So just be sure to use the Windows Media Player when trying to play these files. So I did that and as you see, it's working. Let me show you a cool feature, but you must first remove the micro SD card from the sunglasses in order for this to work. So once you have removed the card, plug it back into the computer and then wait for the computer to read the sunglasses. But this time it won't come up as a drive, but it'll come up as a webcam. So see, there it is. So let me show you how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and select an application so you can look at the quality of the webcam. So here it is, and it was very easy, was able to read it, and there it is. You can actually use the sunglasses as a webcam. So as you saw, I took these out, used them for a little bit. Now, look-wise, to me, they don't look too bad. They don't look too nerdy. Now, the quality of the pictures, those are okay. Now, what I had the biggest issue with is the video. Now, this is what you would mainly get these glasses for is the video. It says HD video. Um, it's supposed to be 1080 video. It says HD video, so it's supposed to be pretty decent video. But what I'm going to say is the audio did not match the video, um, but if you need it in a pinch or you need it for an emergency, it will get you what you need. Now, do I like the concept? Yeah, I like the concept because this is pretty good if, let's say, you're driving, you possibly don't have a dash cam or you're in a situation and you don't want to really let people know you're recording, make sure it's okay in your state. This is a good option to do those things. So after using the Sinluo glasses for a little bit, trying to figure out how to use it, um, the manual is okay, but not all that great. So I hope that my instructions and directions on using these glasses was a little bit easier to follow along with. But to me, I'd like to see a better performing camera glasses. And then one thing that you have to keep in mind when wearing them, you have to know kind of what's in the frame. And that's kind of hard to do. So knowing how and where to place your head to get whatever it is you're trying to get in the picture, you got to keep that in mind. Are you going to pick them up? Is it worth a try? I don't know. But what I do know is I want to thank you all for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.